It is very difficult to get an idea of the number of Linux users there are worldwide due to the fact that most, if not all, Linux distributions do not carry out any form of tracking, unlike a certain other operating system. But we can get an idea of the number of uh, people using a certain operating system via the website. So I'm reading the statistics on this, um, uh, yeah, this website, which is not safe for work, although this page I'm looking at is safe for work. So it shall remain nameless in this video due to the fact of um, archaic censorship, but you can read it there and you can Google for the report and look at it yourself. So just taking a read at the number of statistics, we have 28.5 billion visitors, which turns out to be 81 million people per day, with 24.7 billion searches performed on the site this year. There was clearly a lot to find, as this translates to about 50,000 searches per minute and 800 searches per second. This is also, incidentally, the same number of hamburgers that McDonald's sells every second, which has nothing to do with us, but somehow makes the numbers easier to digest. Well, comparing it to McDonald's doesn't necessarily make it easier to digest. Whee! Anyway, let's look at some of these pages. It is not necessarily a very well-balanced statistic in terms of the number of male to female viewers. It's not 50-50, but we do have 26% women and 74% men. Although that number varies by each country. So in the Philippines, we have 36% women to 64% men. And in Japan, it's lower 19% women and 81% men. But okay, you still got a very average audience here. Unlike if you're taking the comparison of a techie site or a Microsoft specific website. Throughout 2017, smartphones continue to rise a further 5% in market share, now representing 67% of all traffic, joined by tablets making up a further 9%. Desktop and laptop computers now make up less than a quarter of all the traffic. So that is, quite, so that is actually quite a sizable percentage of users browsing the site, um, let's say, privately. <laughs> Away from their partner, maybe? Hmm. And now we get on to the bit about operating systems, with more than 80 million daily visitors studying the operating systems by which visitors to the site use can give us insight into broader industry trends. Through 2017, Windows maintained 80% of desktop traffic, while macOS increased its share by 10%. Much of Mac's gain came from other operating systems like Linux, which now represents just 3% of desktop traffic. Ouch, so it has actually gone down this time, so we can actually see there's been a decrease of 10%. Although it is perhaps also good to see Windows has dropped as well, 0.5% of a loss, and other has decreased substantially. I suppose other could be things like BSD and other Unix operating systems. Looking at the mobile usage, Android absolutely dominates at 50% up 6%, so hey, the number of Linux users has actually increased, although a lot of them may not be aware that they are Linux users. Windows, ouch, that's dropped quite substantially. Windows Mobile has pretty much ended, hasn't it? In terms of web browsers, Chrome absolutely dominates. Edge has seen a dramatic increase, but on the other hand, Internet Explorer has seen a dramatic decrease, so that's just people who moved across to Windows 10, and that now balances with Edge now being the preferred browser over Internet Explorer. That UC browser is a China-specific browser. Let's see, Firefox has decreased, but other browsers has increased, so hmm, I bet that's like Chromium and Brave and any other sort of Blink-based browsers that there are. Blink-based, uh, like Chromium-based browsers. And looking at mobile shows that Chrome is actually only just doing a right. It's UC browser again that uh, absolutely dominates. So all that is an increase from China. That's quite remarkable, really. And there's even a little bit of statistics about games consoles. So it's got quite a variety of operating systems there. Looking at another source, net market share, shows that Linux is about 2.33%. And perhaps more of an unfair one here is W3 Schools, which shows Linux at 5.5%. Why is it an unfair one to use? Well, there's probably more developers actually using W3 Schools and more developers using Linux. Hence, it is a higher percentage there. But there is still a lot of love for Linux. We have a report here from Its Foss that Barcelona City Administration is preparing to migrate towards Linux, migrating away from Microsoft to the open source world. Too bad Munich went the opposite way and has migrated from Linux back to Microsoft, but that was an absolute catastrophe in itself, 
and there was a lot of reasons that weren't very well reported. So Barcelona will go open source by spring 2019. So if you're of the belief that Linux only accounts 1% of desktop usage, does appear to be wrong. 3% uh, does appear to be more realistic. But thanks for watching, see you all later.